All right, Coach. You um, I feel like you guys really built some positive momentum, especially uh, kind of centered around that senior class that you guys graduated. So how do you how do you not let that rock roll back down the hill? I guess if you will. Um, I think that's a that's a difficult thing. You know, one of the nice things last year is we had 30 over 30 seniors. You know, we had very senior heavy, and uh, this year we're not senior heavy and so there's a lot of guys that we have right now that don't have a lot of on-field experience. We have a few starters back uh, but what I think the best thing we've seen from camp, from summer is the things that those guys played with seniors they're carrying those things on. We hear a lot of the same stuff and that same attitude um, it's just they're kind of lacking the on-field experience so we're hoping that that is, is the thing that kind of keeps them going, that kind of start that tradition of how we practice and, and what it means to be a Patriot and those things care. Now we got to get them ready, and only game time is going to get them the experience that they need to get up. Um, it, uh, it was, you know, last year it was great having all that experience, but um, you got to replace a lot. I mean, like, I guess if we're just being honest, you got, probably got your work cut out for you. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I think our JV kids were pretty good last year. Um, you know, our, our big battle is still numbers, and I think that's kind of across the board in the Valley right now for most of us, um, getting kids out. And then hard to get kids who didn't play as much last year because of the big senior class. Uh, but I, for, for us, we have to coach even more. I mean, we, everybody coaches all the time and as hard as you can, but um, we feel like we, we have to be, everything's gotta be, we can't rely on some of the athletic ability and stuff, the stuff that we did last year we got to make sure that they know and, and you know be more disciplined in how we lay things out for the season. It, it seems like you're trying to make up for lack of reps in practice. I mean, I know a lot of times you got two quarterbacks going. Is, there, is obviously there, there a reason for that stuff? A absolutely. You know, we're we're practice JV and varsity together, and we're sharing reps, and we're looking at guys going here and there. I mean, it's as many reps and as fast a tempo as we can get to simulate, you know. And really, we also, because we have guys going to go both ways, like everybody else that does that, we're half a practice offense, half practice defense. So we make sure that we have, that our young guys are rotating. So we're coaching all the time. There's no, hey, offense is up. We're going to sit back and watch the defense. No, this is everybody's got something to do. So we hope that will pay off. One, conditioning and tempo for game, for game reps. And uh, also just having ability for guys to jump in and replace when we have injuries and things like that. You had a quarterback last year that was asked to do as much as any quarterback in the league and was just about as good as any quarterback in the league. Um, how different is your scenario at that position this year? We're extremely young, about as opposite as you can get. You know, no experience, no varsity experience. Um, but I'll tell you, the the kids that we have are here every day. Um, I I think we have the best quarterback coach in the valley. Um, and he is working with those kids. I mean, they, the strides they've made, you know, it's all put in perspective. So when we started last spring and go to camp and where we're at today, um, it's, like di it's like different kids out there at the quarterback position. So we're excited in the progression, but they haven't actually played a varsity game. So Who, Who's the sophomore that you mentioned that's kind of leading the way? Uh, Jack Benson. And, and, and he, was a, he was a transfer over here from Bora. And... Uh, was on the freshman team and didn't play a lot of reps at quarterback then uh, down there. So, you know, he's kind of since middle school, this is kind of his rep. So, but he's worked his tail off this summer and, and uh, we're excited how camp went and where he's at. So we're hoping for that continued improvement throughout the season. Um, you know, I, I think a lot of times I go out and do these previews and we talk about the offensive side of the ball and the defensive side of the ball. But I'm guessing when we talk about your returners, the, the, the same. Line's kind of blurred. <laughs> right, for sure, for sure. You know, last year we did have a. It was unique because we did have a num the numbers uh, where we platooned, and we really did have, for the most part, guys playing one side of the ball. We're kind of back to our old traditional. We're we're going to ask guys to play both sides of the ball, and um, you're going to talk to a couple of the guys that you know are going to be asked to do that. There were one-way guys last year that are going to have to step up and help us, and and I'm excited because. They're like, bring it on. We, we get to play more football than anybody else. So so I'm excited about that. What, uh, maybe you point out each of them specifically, and we'll start with Luke, right? Yeah. So Lucas Erickson, returning starter for us at defensive end. Uh, this year he's, uh, you know, with our lack of depth on the line, he's jumped over and embraced playing offensive tackle um, and, uh, and really been kind of one of our silent leaders. But he's a guy that has a ton of experience on the field, was solid for us at defensive end. And uh, we're really excited about it. I think if I pick any group we're excited about, I, I think our experience is heavy on the D-line. 
um, and, and he's a big part of that. So, And then Logan Harris was kind of our sixth guy uh, last year on offensive line, got quite a bit of reps, uh, but you know he's he's all six seven, two sixty, and you, you don't we don't coach that, and he's really put the time in this off season in the weight room and and getting to camps this summer, and we're really excited about the progress. I think he, he's going to be a force for us on the opposite side of the ball. Luke Shabbat is uh, you know he's a three sport varsity athlete here as a junior coming to a senior year. He was our thirty catches for us last season. Uh, he's kind of our third receiver, but got better every year. And you know, he's a stud baseball player, varsity basketball guy, uh, another one of our guys that you know is stepping up as a leader for us, quiet leader, but a guy who's played every snap for us last season. So we do have some experience. It's just them sharing that with us. And then Preston Esplin, our our starting tailback as a sophomore last year, he's our returning rusher, leading rusher, and we're excited to to get. He's gotten bigger and faster and. Um, taking on more of that leadership. I think these four guys know we have something these other guys don't, and that is time on the field in a varsity football game, and they're really bringing the other guys along. So. Well, will, you, will you rely on him a little bit more last year than you, know, you throw the ball around as much yeah. as you do? Yeah, I, we, were, we were probably a you know, pass-run option <laughs> um, for us last year. We're, we're definitely uh, need to be better at moving the football on the ground. and, and you know. For him, he, did, he would have loved to have more touches last year, uh, take what they gave us last year, and um, go to our strength. This year, we're going to lay heavier on that, that run game. Um, uh, you know, finally, just um, how important is it for these guys to kind of really em embrace the grind, I guess, and uh, just continue to try to push forward? Yeah, I mean, it's, we don't play anything. We don't, we don't participate in anything without you want to play, right? So the one thing that we always talk to the kids about is, the one thing we can offer you at Centennial is an opportunity to play, and we embrace the fact that if you got to play both sides of the ball, you're going to play more football. It's like my golf game. I'm, I get more out of, a, out of what I pay for a golf game. It takes me way more strokes than, than somebody else. So I feel like we're trying to sell to them that you know the opportunity for you to play a ton of football is here. You may not have that other places, but we're going to give you the opportunity to play on both sides of the ball, special teams, and there's two different, the mentality used to be kind of, uh, I don't want to do all that. Now it's kind of like, it's a badge of honor for these guys. We're really trying to sell that Iron Man and, you know, what it, what it means to get off the field and have taken 85 snaps. And you're like, Dude, I, just, I can't get out of bed the next day. I played football. And that's what, that's what I remember. That's what a lot of us remember. And this is so we really want to reward that and, and, and say that that's, that's a badge of honor for these guys. Sweet. Cool. Thanks, Coach.